Thank you very much, Sarah. Henrik Fisker joining us uh, live this morning on Squawk on the Street. Henrik, uh, as Sarah mentioned, you guys, uh, you do not hit your expectations in terms of what you produced or earned in the fourth quarter. You had a wider than expected loss. But you reiterated your guidance in terms of production for this year. When do deliveries of your first vehicle, the Ocean, actually begin? So, you know, as we mentioned, we are waiting for homologation, uh, which we expect here in March. And then right after that, we will start deliveries. And, you know, one of the uh, interesting things about our business model is we have a contract manufacturer that can ramp up really quickly. So once we pull the trigger on the ramp, I think we're going to be able to deliver a ton of cars very quickly, which is really the differentiator, I think, on Fisco's business model. Well, we were over at that facility in Graz, Austria, when you began production. And at the time, you said you're fairly confident that reservations, despite the IRA not being applicable to the ocean, you thought that they would hold in place. And in fact, on the conference call this morning, you said that your reservations, about 65,000, you really haven't lost a lot. Are you a little bit surprised there wasn't a little bit of deterioration there because you don't have the IRA EV tax credit uh, that can be applied to the vehicle? Well, not really. I mean, one of the things we have done is we have homologated, which is difficult, in two continents simultaneously, so both U.S. and Europe. So don't forget, we also have the European market where we can uh, put a lot of vehicles in there as well. So we have seen, but we have seen also reservations going up here in the U.S. I think from the get-go, we had a very, very attractive price point, and we haven't raised it since we announced this way back in 2020. And despite that, we're still showing that we will, in our first year, be profitable. Um, so I think that the product itself also has features that nobody else have. It doesn't matter if you want to buy a Rolls Royce. You can't get it with a solar roof or with uh, California mode, with all the windows going down. So, you know, we have some features. Does, you, if you want them, you have to buy a Fisker Ocean. You mentioned something during your answer there that I think perhaps is the reason why the stock is higher today. Uh, you still believe you have the potential to be profitable this year, which gets into the other question that a lot of people have had with you, with Rivian, with Lucid, the pure EV startups. Are you confident you can make it through this year without needing capital? So I think you could see in our guidance that we have uh, forecasted less spend than the capital that we have. And I think the critical part here, Phil, is that Yes, uh, most uh, startups, they're not making profit for maybe two or three or four years. So obviously the cash burn is much more dramatic. In our case, because of our business model, we are making money on the first cars we ship. And we gave a guidance of 8 to 12%, which our, I think, genius CFO even said um, might be higher than that. Uh, what we could really do is I could sit back now and just forget about all my other programs and I could just sit counting the cash. We can make money as we are. We don't have to do anything. We can actually make money from this year. Now, obviously, we are growth companies. So I'm not going to sit back and do that. We are going to spend money on other models. And I mentioned we are going to showcase a whole bunch of new models later this year to kind of give our investors an idea about how we're going to reach 1 million vehicles in 2027. And that includes, you teased this during the conference call with analysts, a pickup truck? That's right. It's a hot market, and we have been planning it for a while, but it's going to be a different take. Uh, it'll have some features you've never seen in a pickup before. It'll be affordable, so we're not going to go in and do an eighty or $100,000 pickup truck. Uh, it's going to be really cool. I mean, I've already designed it. We're starting to build it. it it's going to be something else.